day, a holiday. I was on my way to work. Hey, Roland Pavlovich. Friend, you seem like a smart man. One who can appreciate an invention as revolutionary as hey, the buddy. wheel. You with me? No. Uh, what's your name? Gotta run. Uh, then you don't mind if I call you Will? My dad's name was Will before he died. He used to take me fishing out at Lake Castake. The trees had once been on dry land, but now they seem to just grow out from the lake. Nowadays, those fish are lucky to have trees to hide in. That lake is as polluted as hell. You never know when a fossilized pamper is going to float to the surface. I don't care. <laughs> Say, Will, you got a son? My boy, little Willie, teenager, he's all cock and elbows. We used to be real close before he ran off with my wife, leaving me to li raise his two sisters alone. Unless you can tell me, hard, it's hard work bringing up children. I spent most of my youth uh, waiting for dad to ask me to change the channel on the television. Back then, you gave birth to your remote control and your bartender. I used to love to get my dad a beer. Will, please hear me out. It's not Will, it's Jane. I used to be a corporate guy, I had the Four corners reaches to myself, all four corners. In 1992, they gave me a Seville. I love that car. Uh, you wanna see a picture of my uh, girl, Joni? She's not much of a fisherman, but she tries. Or, or my daughter, Sue, that's S-I-O-U-X, like the Indians, S-I-O-U-X. What good is a smartphone when you have a dumbass operator? I can't figure this thing out at all. They call this smart? What's smart is having a secretary to answer and return all your calls. Never had much email. luck with women, but sales, that's my thing. Bitches, they're all bitches. Women? No, just my wives. Well, my five ex-wives. And from the smell of things, she's about to be the next ex. I can smell the arrival of divorce papers. Like the ocean breeze, it's a sixth sense. Wait, you're not here to serve me, are you? God damn it, I knew it. They always hit right after bonuses. I was just beginning to like you. Uh -huh. This year I take my entire bonus check in cash. Small bill, $67,000 worth. Uh -huh. You know the great thing about small bills? They fit very nicely into a G-string. Well, I am here to serve you. I knew it. B but not with papers, with a product. I think I'd rather have the damn papers. You haven't heard my pitch? 30 seconds. Uh, I have got a product which is going to revolutionize the way America and you, James, my favorite American, eats lunch. Unlike every other right-thinking citizen, you, my friend, have not yet been hooked up to the tuna salad super pipeline. I'm talking tuna salad piped into every home in the country, if not the world. We put the spigot right at the kitchen sink. Whoosh! Oh, I get it. 
You're joking. <laughs> this is one of those shows. You got your slice of bread in one hand. So where's the camera? You turn on the miraculous low tuna. Glug, glug, glug. How's my hair? And you've got a nutritious and delicious meal in the other hand. Get away from me. Uh, uh, we're short on capital, but high on vision. You freaking nut, go back to the hole. Uh, you, you haven't heard the best part. In the not too distant future, we're going to have 500 flavors. Lime, key lime, lemon lime. Hey, what's your name? Uh, Roman Pavlovich. Hey, 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 take your hands off me. T take your hands off me. Uh, just one second. This is a man. Yeah? I'm a woman. Yeah? I have needs. Oh, come on, really? Yeah, day 15, it's that time. Day 15? What are you talking about day 15? You've been in a pause for like 10 years. Quiet. Pre-menopausal. I started early. Oh my gosh. And I still got some kick in me on occasion. Ah, isn't that funny? Dad, come on. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm sorry. Is he bothering you? It's fine. Is he all right? I'm just getting warmed up with, uh, what did you say your name was? Donna. Last name? Menamore Nelson, Ontario. Four last names? She's had a lot of husbands. I've had a lot of husbands. LMNO. Pete Pavlovich. Pavlovich? Oh, Pete. <laughs> Dad, we're going to search Green But, 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 uh... <laughs> Okay. Call me Mr. Pavlovich. I, I will, Mrs. Leonard Moore Nelson, Ontario. Oh, Let's go. Come on. I'm sorry. Insanity runs in our family. Practically drives us plus. Uh, but, Jimmy, baby, I'm not finished with Mrs. LMNO. I just need to call close me, the deal. Call me. Hey. What? What are you doing? Are you as crazy as he is? This may be the one. <laughs> uh, yeah. The one too many. Uh, come on. Let's go. Those are wet, no. Hair train and then massage train. Massage train. Ooh. Oh, is that bad me? <laughs> shut up. Maybe you should try a probactive. Maybe you should shut up too. <gasps> no, that's no freckle. That's one BS freckle. That's a 10 4. That's good, right? I sound like a trucker. <laughs> no, maybe if you looked a little more like a trucker, mm -hmm. then we'd buy it. <laughs> Give me that hat. Mmm, sexy. And the jacket. Hot. And a little bit of that lipstick. Sorry, I'll get that just puts on my mouth. That'll do. What about this lipstick? That'll do too. Fuck, I am telling you that girl did not want to be pregnant. I don't see why not. He was kind of cute. Really? Not that I noticed. It's just that other women would find him attractive, that's all. I didn't even really notice. Uh-huh. Anyway, he didn't tell her about the job, and there we are moving all her fucking furniture. I would have filed for divorce right there, if that had been me. I'd have to cut his balls off. Snip, motherfucking snip. <laughs> I love you. I don't think they were married. What did I miss? <laughs> I'm trying to tell you what happened. <laughs> Listen up, kid. You may learn something. When you have an ass like this, Ooh. you don't have to listen to anyone. I need to have all this done before my roommate gets back. She's taking her dad to the zoo. The zoo? Yeah, sometimes he breaks out of his cage. I don't know. Maybe they're going to the beach. The beach? What beach? This is Washington, D.C. There are no beaches. Unless you want to swim in the sludge on the ship. And smell the untreated sewage. Some beach. Anyway, this all has to be in the truck before she gets back. It's kind of a surprise. 5 p.m., 6 p.m. shouldn't be a problem. We have a few union breaks, that sort of thing, but nothing you need to worry about. How can I help? Uh-uh. This is hard work. Why don't you let the professionals take care of the professional work? 
Dad, we can't take the bus to the waterfront. We gotta take the VRE train. Morning, Jeeves. Ah, Puccini. Excellent choice. Morning, sir. Your drive through Ketchup? It's in the fridge. Had it installed yesterday. <laughs> and your suit is pressed and in the wardrobe. My daughter Joni will be riding with us today. Excellent. With the three of us on board, we'll be able to take the HOV. Will we go into the zoo? Uh, no. The waterfront? I think the salty air might clear my mind. Ah, ginkgo biloba. Ginkgo biloba, what is that? It's good for the mind. And it wards off senility. I take it all the time. Dad, what's going on here? I've given him 10% of my company. He acts as my private driver. But this is a city bus. It's Washington, D.C. No one will even notice it missing. He has a point. And that makes it okay? I pay my fare. The transit authority's happy. He's happy. I'm happy. Is that a walk-in closet? What are you doing? I love this show. Never miss it. Where's your crew? Breakfast break. It's a union thing. Don't worry, we won't ruin your surprise. Have a seat. I won't bite. I've got work to do. Aren't you a cutie pie? Like the Indians. Yeah. S I O U. Right. Okay. Woo. Oh. Yeah. Hmm. Go for the burn, right? <laughs> yeah. I gotta be a lean, mean, counseling machine. A mean, a mean, a counseling machine. A Counselor? Uh -huh. Hi, I'm a psychiatrist. Dr. John. Doctor? Yes. Huh. Psychiatrist. Yeah. Uh. How about after this I buy you a juice? I don't know. You look to have at least a two juice psychosis. I'll buy you two juices. That'll work. <laughs> what are you doing? Hi, Silly. How'd you find me? I knew what to book. What's he up to? Fishing. No gear. Mono I mono? How are you feeling? I've been sick all morning. Is there something I can do? What do you say we play hooky today? I would, I would say yes. Dad! Roman, I gotta go! You got it! I'll stay beside you that thing! Yeah, that's nice, guys, boss.
Craig home. Oh, good God. No. Why, Rockefeller? Liability issues. The company doesn't want you hurting yourself. Here. Hi. You know what? Move your fingers. Come on. No, no, no. Uh, hey, move them before you lose them. I said to be careful. That's a $15,000 organ. All right, ready? One to count of three. Ready? Go. Do you know how much that would cost to replace? $15,000. No. I bought it used. All right, one, two. Why don't I? It's okay. Watch this. You drop that organ, I'll drop you! I quit. Break time. Stop it. Oh, God, it's Claude Asma. I was like thinking. Well, that's it. I wasn't thinking. Joni. Hi, Craig. You're, you're home early. You, I'm I, working, you mean? Yeah. Well, I wanted to babysit Dad today. She wanted to take some sort of exam for her license. Where is he now? Here? I it as close to perfect as my life gets. I was him at the beach. In a costume? No, oh, we were at Father's Park. It's not a beach. It's a toilet. It's his favorite spot. He likes to swim. By himself? He'll drown. He's with his main servant. Never mind. Do you see this brown patch? I think that I'm getting... Where's all the furniture? What's going on? Surprise! Surprise? We're moving! What? Ooh, look what I found! It's my birthday! Ew. Well, it's not used. It's icky. I got a job. We're moving to St. Louis. Where did you get a job? In St. Louis? Where? Missouri! For who? The development office. For who? Liz. Liz, what kind of organization would hire you to work at their development office in St. Louis, Missouri for some woman named Liz? Don't you listen to anything? The symphony. Who do you think? I don't understand why you didn't say anything sooner. This isn't the kind of decision you just make alone. I need to be near my father. Sue can take care of him. Or his manservant, Jeeves. His I didn't say his name was Jeeves. You did. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. No, I did. It's not my dad I'm worried about anyway. Well, you should be. Yesterday, he asked me for money. That's a sure sign. He's losing something. He was a boss, okay? Eight years of college, $85,000 in debt, a $15,000 organ. I bought it used. It's a good job. It's everything I've ever studied for. What, a chance to repay your loans? It's that and so much more. It'll give me a chance to have my work produced. I can make connections, professional connections. I just don't understand why you didn't say anything about it sooner. Your berry bear is acting up. I have an answer to my question, and it's not berry berry. Berry berry results in gastrointestinal and neurological disorders. This is so much closer to... We are not doing it, and I am not moving to St. Louis! <laughs>
When you have finished loading up the truck, I want you to get on the road immediately. Don't turn around. Don't say goodbye. Don't even look back. Okay. My roommate and I have our car. We'll meet you there at the apartment Wednesday morning. Listen, fella. Okay. <laughs> I'm just yanking your chain. We're on our 22.4 minute cigarette break, and I've got one and a third cigarettes to smoke. <coughs> and then I'll fire up the rig. Thank you. But I can't actually hit the road until tomorrow morning. The Union? The Union. You weren't gonna tell me! What's going on out there? You were just I'm gonna leave without telling me where you were going. Those boxers. <laughs> Besides, I'm going to pay you back, so just calm down. I will calm down when I feel like it. Uh... Pull your pants off. You put my furniture back. You put it back right now. Your furniture? You own a couch, and it's still here. <sighs> so, what pulled a fur ass? She's pregnant. Oh. She's having one of her preeclamptic fits. It's nothing to worry about. Does she want a baby? No, but she's Catholic. God wants her to have one. Well, I'm Baptist. I'm going to hell no matter what I do, so I might as well have fun. It's like- What's the problem? I thought we agreed you'd hit the road. I came to say goodbye. I know, but I thought we agreed- I it... know. Thinking of four days alone on the road got me a little worked up. It's a fucking hormone thing. I need a hug. Wow. Thanks. I feel much fucking better. I'll see you Wednesday morning. Maybe somewhere on the road. You'll honk your horn? And flash the lights. I need a smoke. Can someone get me one? Joni, you can't. You're pregnant. Be quiet. Don't get pregnant. One little puff won't hurt. That is the least logical thing I have ever heard. You be quiet. If men were equally at risk from this condition, if they knew that their bellies would swell as if they were suffering from terminal cirrhosis, or if they couldn't go nearly a year without a whiskey, a cigarette, or even an aspirin, then I am sure that pregnancy would be a sexually transmitted disease. Where, where, where are you going? Where is she going? I've got eight minutes, 17 seconds left on this break, and I haven't had any coffee yet. Jory. Sanitary, put someone else's arms in your hand. Just look at first. So, want to hear a story? Yeah. I'm drinking my Russian standard on the rocks. Delicious. And this man was all, yo, what's up? How much? And I'm like, fuck you, toy my bed. How much? I was done my drinking space. Oh, I did. Who has the glass and my fist? Wow, is your hand okay? It's fine. Um, fuck. He was stunned, covered in expensive Russian vodka. Yeah, and he was like, ow, what the fuck, oh, and his face was all, well, what the fuck, I'm getting my ass beat by a girl. Yeah, it's hot. It's it was fucking hot beating him. And my clit got so huge, I just wanted to turn him over and fuck him in the ass with. Seriously? Can you do that? <sighs> it used to be that anybody could be a family counselor. No, no. Diplomas, no tests, standards. Fusion jazz and isolation tanks used to be the answer to every argument. Not anymore. Oh, now you have to be degreed. So, tell me about your sister. Father, and genetically speaking, is not a rich man. Yeah, to really understand this, you gotta look at Craig's family, man. What a bunch of freaks. Not even I can help those people. <laughs> oh, Cassandra, please hurry. My presentation's tomorrow. We're not ready. Craig, moving home. 
Why, Craig? Why today? Craig? Our oldest son. The educated one. The expensive one. Apparently he got a job developing something for the symphony. I, I hope that she's not coming with him. Uh, Cassandra, the woman is seven months pregnant. Of course she's going to be coming with Craig. Three months. Michael, just because she's pregnant and our daughter-in-law doesn't mean we have to like her. Scoot down. Pretend there's a big pile of money between us. Capital. And they're not married, I think. Yeah. Ozzy, <clears throat> Eric. What's up? Peace. We've got a gift for you, dear. My puka shell neck. This will not fit over my hair. There's a clasp in the back. <laughs> Your father wore that the day he asked me to move in with him. It was at the Peter Frampton Comes Alive concert. It, that, that was not a concert. We were listening to a record. <sighs> oh. Okay, thanks. I love it, Mom, Dad. Peace. I'll be in my room. You know, Becky, I like you. I think you're really going to make it in this business. You and Heather, are you exclusive? I feel close to you. Can I tell you a secret? Of course. I'm not really a lesbian. I'm only in it for the back rubs. Does Heather know? I think she's on to me. We only have sex a couple times a week. So you won't mind if I ask her out? I guess not. We've got to be very careful with that boy. The wrong move at this point in his life could be very expensive. And I'll never get my house built. Stop whining. We were able to get rid of, rid of uh, Greg. We'll get rid of Eric. But Craig is coming home. Well, don't you see, children haven't the, the slightest idea how to live or, or when to leave. See what we have here, our little surveillance system. I should have spent more on surveillance. Did you put the camera in his room? I did, but I, oh, I think I'm, I, I ran it through the laundry. Let's see if we can hear something. Okay, all right. Listen. Do you hear it? Yeah, okay, now I'm hearing something. Okay, Strindberg? How can a boy raised on the wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald listen to this garbage? Well, maybe if he had gotten the lyrics right once. One time. The lunatic ravings of a drunken, unschooled Pete Seeger. I sounded like Pete Seeger. <laughs> this is your fault. You're the one that forced him to play in a, a, a girl's little league. Well, the boys were so much bigger than he was. As were the girls. Maybe I should have thrown away his scratch and sniff t-shirt. Scratch and sniff? He was obsessed with it. It was so old, I, I had to spray it with perfume to get it to smell like strawberries. You let our son smell like a fruit in elementary school? This is your fault. I know. This is your fault. It's my fault. Yeah. <sighs> Flag day. Red, white, and blue. Spring has sprung. Rose petal toenails. Honey for blood. I am going to get to the bottom of this. I hear music again. No, I just turned it off. I hear music. It's the dead on stage at Woodstock. 
You're having a flashback. I'm seeing trails. Oh my God, I'm having a flashback. What? One problem. We didn't go to Woodstock. Your mom wouldn't let us. We had to wait for it to come out on video. Oh, it's suddenly so clear. It is all so clear. Our boy isn't a little boy anymore. He, he's changing. He's literally splitting into. Now we have four sons. No, five if you count Greg, oh. Craig. Not a single one of them knows the lyrics of the wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald. Bravo Stoops magazine. Uh, uh, handgun. Um, weed. Is there an upper limit on these things? Sons? Flashbacks. Hey, where are you going? Me and my crew are gonna chill at the laundromat. No, no, not yet. Let me see what, let me see what's in that bag. Don't tell me. You joined the CIA. No, Dad, it's not the missing 18 minutes of Nixon's videotape. Show him what's in the other three bags and then you can all go and play at the laundromat. No. Why not? Because you're not cool. Oh, not cool. I saw Crosby, Stills, and Nash before they were young. Had young. You Had were born young. years before we got married. That was Craig. I'm Eric. Oh. Dad, Mom. This is not me. I only wear this stuff when I come home. Every day I pray that none of my friends see me dressed like some 80s glam rocker. I'm so sick and tired of looking like Brett Michaels. W what happened? Whose fault is this? Is it your mother's fault? No, Dad, I want to go to college. I sent in the applications today. I suspected this. How can we send the four of you to college? Would you... Shut up. What about work? It's time you knew. I want to be... a poet. It's at least four more years of college. Times four. Seven if you count the MFA. Times four. <sighs> We tried being poets ourselves. For three weeks? I'm dedicating my life. Can we afford to pay 68 years of tuition? I've got it. You don't need to go to college. You could work as a waitress. Waiter. As, as a waiter. Yeah, that gives your poems that rough edge that's so popular these days. But, but I don't want to work. <sighs> Get out of my house. But, but what am I gonna do? I'm only 19. I, I like it here. Not for ever. Just a couple of hours. I need a nap. I smell smoke. No, you don't. Oh, look here. Beer bottle. Empty. He's been in the marijuana bag. Yes. Maybe it was all just just a phase he was passing through. Huh. New pornography. <gasps> Troy and pleasures. Oh, his poetry. Rose petal toenails. Oh, it's still terrible. Hey. Two rounds are missing from his handgun. Thank God, he's normal. Hey, uh, you wanna do a toke before we go back to work? I don't know. You think he'll notice it missing? No, oh, just a toke. He's been in the weeds, dropping out, can't be far behind. Turn on, then drop out. We'll get that houseboat after all. I love that after all these years, we share the same goal. Smitty! Smitty! Where are you going? I haven't gotten to the best part. We're high on vision, but low on capital. Have you slept well? Yeah, bro. Staying here last night really put us behind schedule. Shh. 
What do you say we give this place a grand farewell? Well? No. Say goodbye to DC and stop. I do not want sex. God, are you serious? Do you know what you're like? No. Tell me. Like every guy on this planet. Like a pack of piranhas with a penis. No, thank you. You could have told me when you were moving before they took all of my stuff. I didn't know exactly when she. They would be here. This is a tremendous opportunity for me. It's a chance for me to get back home. And to actually enjoy my job. My parents are there. It's not right to raise a child away from his only grandmother. It's not fair. My doctor's here. Joni, in St. Louis, we'll have medical insurance. You'll be able to get proper prenatal care. And you won't have to go to a hack pharmacy student. She's not a hack. She has a high GPA. She's a thief, and she's in her first year. The first year is the hardest, duh. Joni, think about me. This is my chance to get away from teaching. It's why I went back to school. I need this. You don't get it. Who's going to buy a picture of Autumn in the Potomac in St. Louis? I don't know. Well, you better figure it out. I've got 500 copies to sell. Well, apparently, no one in D.C. wants to buy one either. What about the environment? What about the power? Couldn't you want the baby to be born in the most exciting city in the country? Actually, I would just prefer a hospital. You would just prefer a hospital. And you don't have a choice. It's my body. It's my health insurance. Fine. I'll go. But you gotta marry me. Today? Tomorrow. I can't. I'm not ready to be married. Oh, but you are ready to be a father. We already are married by common law. What more do you need? A ceremony? We don't need God or our parents sanctioning our actions. Marriage is not like professional boxing. Like, I'm going to get the car. What would have happened if I didn't come home before the movers left? We used to walk everywhere. Down the mall from the Capitol to the Lincoln Memorial. Two miles in the beautiful afternoon sun. Up Pennsylvania Avenue to Peregrine Coffee. Out to Haynes Point to visit the Awakening. You don't have to live in a Georgetown townhouse to fall in love with the city. You just have to have train fare and a good pair of shoes. So, St. Louis. Stop. I'm gonna hurt you. Remember when I first met oh. you, your hair was coarse and curly? Oh. Shh, stop it. Oh. Roman, shh. Ow. Roman. What are you thinking about? Ten boys. St. Louis. St. Louis? What choice do I have? I'll come with you. Oh, thank you. Now tell me something. What? Tell me about the moon. What God does with the old moon? Yeah, that's my favorite. God needs to make room for the new moon after the old one has died. Like, new people are born to replace the old ones. A new moon is born every four weeks. And the old moon is broken up into stars. And the old moon came out. the birds in the night sky, that's right. Yes. <laughs> now why would God do that? Because stars are always being eaten and must be replaced.
You know what I love about you, Romy? What? You know how I treat a woman, right? I believe there is only one way to properly treat a woman. Mm -hmm. Make love to her if she's beautiful. Uh -huh. And to someone else if she's not. Uh huh. Am I beautiful? You are the most desirable, the most precious, the most beautiful. All that goes in the second bedroom. A study. Great. I am so happy. I can't wait for mom and dad to see the finished product. I want you to make a good impression. I hate this city. I hate this apartment. The walls are so ugly. Mom is painting the walls. I don't have any friends here. How could you have any friends? We've only lived here for a few hours. Hey, be careful. Oh, it's you. I'm so sorry. Your guitar got in the way of a falling wardrobe. That's okay. I have others. Wardrobes? Guitars. You know, I don't even know your name. It's Stephanie. Stephanie, that's a pretty name. But I need to warn you, I'm a lesbian. I don't care. But I do. You could change your mind. Of course, I am a very lonely lesbian. All that time on the road, I don't really date as much as I'd like to. Kids, I'm here. Sorry, I couldn't bring your father along, but he has his very big presentation at work tomorrow. Hi. Hi, daughter. <clears throat> oh, right. Hi. Hi, Joni. Uh, Hello, Cassandra. I brought you some brownies. Oh. Goody, I bet they're laced with something delicious. Oh, I stopped baking those for Greg when Michael realized the effect that we're having on his ambition. Never mind. Joni, I'm worried about you, and I'm worried about that baby. You know, I don't like you very much. I mean, I know that you don't like me very much, but let me give you some advice. <laughs> this ought to be good. Well, I hope so, because I'm good at giving advice. And I'm always right. Yes, Cassandra. Take it easy on yourself. You look worn out. I hope that trip from Chicago wasn't too exhausting. Chicago. Well, you know, I've always been keeping myself occupied. Now, if you'll excuse me, I do have a splitting stomach ache. I brought you some brownies. Jesus Christ. No, Mom. Who knows what you put in those things? Oh. That reminds me, I have to get back home. Thanks, Mom. You have to excuse her. She did way too many drugs in the 90s and 80s. 70s, 60s. She seems sweet. You'll like her a lot once you get to know her. So, you never answered my question. Craig, where's my method prime law? I have to go talk her down from the sledge. Am I in a craving? Just finish moving me in and we'll try and stay out of your way. Ah, this is crazy. Call you at your motel? I'd like that. You know, this is very odd for me. Usually I'm the one over there writing in the pad. But maybe if my parents had spelled Sue the right way, I would need to be paying you $120 an hour to converse. I mean, that's your rate, right? Yes. 20 an hour. God, what kind of degree do you have? And Dr. Dan, like, only makes 90 an hour, right? 
he's not a real good doctor, is he? Are you sure you want to do this here? Okay, um... <clears throat> doctor, I've been having this recurring nightmare. I'm sitting in a room surrounded by my family. That's the remote, baby. And, uh... I am, I'm alone, and I'm, I'm sitting in a box of tinted glass, which disguises the picture that I present to my family and distorts their true shapes and sounds. Sue. So, um, inside the box, I'm shivering uncontrollably. You know, unable to answer the endless questions being asked of me by my family. Baby? I mean, they, they can't see my shivering um, because, you know, as the box distorts their true shapes and sounds, making them appear almost human and concerned, it also, in turn, disguises my true shape from them, so. I don't like Jeopardy. Shut up! Um, so... I mean, outside the box, I'm I'm not I'm not shivering, but or, or, or fetal, but I'm human, and I'm able to answer the questions that they've asked. I like the teen tournament. The questions are easier. But the thing is, they're not they're not really questions. I mean, in reality, my family is not mine, but in fact, they're like this group of giant lizard-like bipeds with with like these long these long split tongues. You know, and instead of asking the questions that I, I think that I hear, they're actually, in fact, just like, just like <sighs> lashing their like giant tongues like up against the walls of the box, which surrounds and distorts me. It happened two years ago. The questions got so much harder, and their spit just like just like runs down my body. You know, as my box tries to answer the questions it is asked. South America. Oh. And I wonder as I tell you this, if my father and sister realize that they are actually a group of giant horned reptiles. John Pierpont, who is John Pierpont? Probably not. I remember the day he moved, very clearly. I had brought dad to the zoo or the beach or something. I can't remember. Well, he had spent all day by a pond in the Japanese garden talking to a fish. Something about getting to know your enemy. So, what am I calling you for? If you look into my life, it can take a toll When you're running from the days to the light outside But my wings spread so wide oh, oh, oh. Got to run away from the light oh, oh, oh. Well, what I want to tell you that night, I already decided to move, but I convinced Terry to stay one extra day in D.C. so that I could go to the doctor, or pharmacy the student, and get my proper prenatal care. Plus, I wanted to say goodbye to my dad. Quinn, close the door behind you. Tightly. Is it closed really tight? Is it locked? Check again. Okay. Sit there quietly. Where's my copy of Our Bodies Ourselves? On the chair. Right where you left. Okay, see, that was a rhetorical question. I'm trying to establish my bedside manner. Just sit there quietly. Okay. Oh, this looks like a good one. Pelvic inflammatory disease. P-I-D. Frequent urinating? 
Back of abs. Tight. Pain around the kidneys? No. Are you sure? Well, that's my girl. Wait, should we look at her first and then Shouldn't you shut the fuck up? Excuse me? Page 636, fibromyalgia. Page 637, Epilogermula. Page 639, Joe Grinson. Um, no. 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 Oh, here's one. Trichotillomania. Hair pulling syndrome. You know, maybe I should go. My husband doesn't know I'm here. Do you want a height leash? Does he? I keep an eye on a height leash. You know, I've got the scars to prove it. <sighs> right. Um, I should probably go. My dad is waiting. But it's not even dawn yet. He doesn't sleep. Oh, but have him come see us. I mean, we've got exactly what the man needs. Tony, you know the importance of prenatal care. This will only take a minute. I just need refills. Refills? Why didn't you ask any sooner? Did you enjoy the Librium? Oh, yeah. <laughs> More? About the pylon? <laughs> More. <laughs> the Amipramine? More? And the Anatriclean? Why not? Mm. More. I'm glad you're staying in such high spirit these days. Um, well, $40 for them? This time. You be sure to come back and see me before summer vacation. Vacation? Don't worry. I'll be back in time for summer classes. I've got some credits to make up. Hey, what's your name? Dad, there you are. Excuse us. Is he bothering you? I'm sorry. Quiet. Don't say anything. Let's go. But Joni, baby, I'm not finished with Bob. I think I got it. I just need to close the deal. You'll have to excuse her. Insanity runs in our family. It's it's practically a fossil. That's fine. Stop it. Let's go. I was just going to tell him about Lake Kachuma and my favorite bumper sticker. Eat, drink, go fishing. Let's go. Come on. Ah, wait. This is uh, Sue. Like the Indians, S-I-O-U-X. And I'm Joni, like baloney. Minestrone, pepperoni. You're making me hungry. That's the baby speaking. Dad, I'm not supposed to know about her. <laughs> okay, not my train. Okay, I can't worry about trains right now. I have to concentrate. <laughs> Look, if I don't pass this test, I'm not gonna hang my shingle. <laughs> <laughs> There's my orange screen. Oh, okay. Look, very soon I'm going to be a professional. No more temp work, no more typing, no more filing, no more making coffee just because somebody asks. From now on, I make the coffee whether they ask or not. <laughs> you know, I'm going to be a qualified, certified family counselor. <laughs> mm. Are you sure you're that, single? Of course I'm single. I wouldn't lie. I'm a doctor. <laughs> Your number. No, my bill. Your bill? <laughs> hey, can I get a bulk discount? <laughs> Call me. Mm -hmm. Love you. That was great. I may have to look at the certification as a sex therapist. Hey, lady, I'm trying to relax here. Oh, sorry. Uh, insanity runs in our family. It practically rides the train. Beautiful morning, sun, eh? Jeeves, where's your bus? Yeah, I lost it. Long story. Oh. You carry on. She needs to learn to keep her mouth shut. I'm still a virgin, remember? Right. The second immaculate conception. 
Actually, it'd be the second virgin birth. The Immaculate Conception is the birth of Mary, free from sin. Ah, to be born without the burden of original sin. Ooh. Mm. We'll be made of God. Mm. And uh, you got Craig. So uh, your Eve must have eaten an apple and an orange. And a banana. You should have paid more attention in church. Ah, uh, I was too busy trying to work the angles. Working the angels might have been more effective. No. Church is for wives and daughters, for those who have time to reflect. Time is both the price and the power of prayers. Yeah, well, you better start praying. Having a baby is not cheap. I just had to spend $40 on prenatal care. When you were born, it cost $245. And your mom was in the hospital for 27 days. Yeah. I wish I could help. I do. I, I don't have any money in the bank. I just never thought to save. It's okay, Dad. I'm young. I have hope. Oh, I have hope. I hope Craig gets a job. You know, this is a really nice way to see the campus. Is, is that a dead body? Dad, Craig got a job. We're moving to St. Louis. Oh, donuts. Can I have this chocolate one? Is it all right? No. But I, the other one's plain. Oh wait, it's chocolate on the back. The last day was a surprise. I remember Johnny sitting next to a blank canvas overlooking the Atlantic seaboard. Blank brushes, held in clean hands. Johnny had no paint on her nails, no shades of nature in her hair or between her teeth. In poor Johnny, the separation of art and life was complete. It was flag day, the colors of spring, and she had brought the same canvas to the park since the first warm of March, while Johnny wrote love letters, spring has sprung, letters which will never be sent, but I get slightly ahead of myself. Turn that down. What? I finished unpacking. Leave me alone. Please. I have a lot to get done before dinner. Really? What's that you're working on? Bach Pastoral. BWV 570. I'm arranging it for the guitar. Wonderful. Could you not work on it so loudly? I would not expect you to understand. I guess now I'd understand even less. I need a shower. Some people cause happiness wherever they go. Others, whenever they go. Oh, Come with me. Oh, thank God. Take me away from here. I hate it here. I have no friends. I miss my family. I miss my dad. I miss you. I'll take you back. You can live with me. Okay. I, I will take you home, but only as my wife. Your what? Roman, oh yes, of course I'll marry you. Oh my gosh, that's what I've been wanting forever. Oh, but what about Craig? He's so jealous, he'll never let me leave here. He loves it here, but I hate it here, I hate it. Don't worry about Craig. I've been wanting to take care of him since the day we've met. <laughs> Oh, uh, Craig will meet with an unfortunate accident. Maybe he'll just slip in the shower. <laughs> I haven't got the ring yet. Don't think of that. I'll be right back. But no, Roman, you're stalling. Just go in there and kill him. Could we just scare him off? I'll hold him up to his throat. 
No more peeing on the toilet seat. No more turning the channel and there's a perfectly good commercial break on. No more leaving dirty clothes on a pile so that she can wear them again. No, no more playing your dumb guitar. <laughs> I'll go and kill Craig. Yeah. You make a reservation for dinner. <laughs> okay. And then for dessert, we'll have ice cream. And each other. Yes. Oh, it's my favorite. Okay, go. God damn it! I'm talking to you. Don't get nasty with me. I haven't unpacked it yet. You said you unpacked the office. Oh, well, I haven't. You're useless. You know, the things that Roman can do with ice cream, you would not understand. Excuse me? So many hot and cold sensations all at once. That romance is a figment of your imagination. Stop. Wait. Don't eat those. You're going to kill our baby. I don't care about your baby. I don't want this baby. I am sick and tired of your psychopathic, schizophrenic bullshit. Jody, if you don't stop this, you can go back to Northeast, take my car, take my fucking guitar, and leave me in peace. I'm sick of being married to you. We're not married. Then why do I wear this ring? It hurts. It literally hurts. Baby. I'm leaving. Right. We're here! Dad? Yes. Dad, what are you doing here? How'd you find me? Well, we found them. Strange lot. Uh, but Michael here likes my business, and he's in finance. Thank you. I need a cigarette. I'm so fucking tired every fucking day. Dude. Jesus, that was a long drive. How much longer do I have to sit in the bus? You have a bus? VW. Oh, cool. You're gonna give him startup money for that ridiculous, disgusting idea, and you won't give me any money for college. Well, that's investor money. The college funds are mine. But the investment will fail. They always do. The key is to get in on the ground floor. Fine. I'll get a job and pay for my own education. But I'm not moving out. Can't possibly pay rent as well. That's fine. I'm not staying. What about your job? Your baby! There is no baby! It's a hysterical pregnancy! What are you talking about? I've seen the pregnancy test. I've taken six a week for the past six months. They're all negative. But, wait, what? What? I figured it was a chance to have sex without a condom. I thought eventually- Quiet! Quiet. Shut up! Wait. You, and you, and you, Eric. You go together. You're with us. Go wait in the car. Mom? This Mother. girl here? I have a vision of her giving me a grandchild. I mean, someone I can love unconditionally. But I'm a lesbian. What? Go, go get some coffee. God, my visions have been remarkably unreliable since Red Rocks 1977. Huh. I can't. I have your number. I'll call you if I need you. Okay, but I hit the road tomorrow. Going north. And you two, I do not want to see you ever again. Until the investor conference. Uh, until the investor conference. I'm not leaving without Joni. Dad, leave. Okay. I'm not going without yeah, you. Tomorrow, we'll talk tomorrow. I need time. Can you drive a hearse? No, no, no. Why not? <laughs> tomorrow. Now, dear Joni, that leaves us. Well, just because you're not right for my son, it doesn't mean that there's no one waiting for you out there somewhere. Just go. Just go. I am pregnant. 
Was Penguins? Sweetie, I know you probably don't want to hear me say this again. But it's very important for you to go see your primary physician. Okay, I'm just going to push you right here. Do you have a ride? Um, yeah, I think so. Okay, I'll be right back. I'm going to get your paperwork. Oh, man. To deal with her, no mom, no boyfriend. That's what it looks like. What's the blood? Hot. Uh, no hey, surgery. Yeah. Hi. I'm Rome. Hi, I'm Joni. Minor discomfort. Why do you always get the crazy ones on your watch? You know what? I work with a crazy one every day. Give me a pen. Off my feet. I will keep you. Office. Uh, that's a nice offer. Thanks. Real surgery. You know where she's supposed to sign that, yes, right? Yes, I do. Thank you. I used to like you. And you still do. And then you talked. Okay, Sweeney, I'm gonna need you to sign here and here. Okay, there you go. If you have any trouble, emotional trouble, you talk to someone, okay? Okay. If you want, you can even call here and talk to me. Yeah. Yeah, just ask for Nurse Bennett. Okay, thanks. You sure you don't want to rest a little longer? No, I'm, I'm good. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. Thank you. Thanks. Talk to me. Thanks. Your turn. I'm tired. Of what? I heard what he said. Or who said? Cray. Cray? I'm leaving. Roman, don't leave me. N no. No, dance with me. I will, if I can. Joni, what's wrong? I've, I've got to go. I'm staying with my parents. I'll call someone. I've got to figure this out. Craig can leave. You can't leave. There's a baby. If there was a baby, there would be permanent brain damage from all the pills you've been taking. <laughs> Ask me a question. An what? obvious question. Roman, what's the number on outside of my door? I don't know. 
Is that why you're leaving me too? Because of my medication? Yes. Roman, how many steps are there leading up to my apartment? I just moved. So that's the last thing I need is a child that's addicted to lithium. Okay. An easy one. What floor am I on? Purple, green, and yellow. Oh, fuck you, Craig. What? Is that the hate that's missing? It's the love. Did you invent it? I love you. What about last Valentine's that Day? That's nice, but I don't want this. Oh, really? You want this? Yes. <laughs> Stop. Oh, Go. what are you going to do, Mr. 4.0? Oh, I can't handle this. I'll call someone. Friends, investors, gentlemen, lend me your capital. Eric, your cue. Eric! 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 What? Your cue! No, thank you. No, thank you. Thank you, really. Yeah. Eric, enough! Turn it off, honey. <clears throat> I have had an opportunity come my way that is unlike anything I have seen in all my years as a financial advisor. A very successful financial advisor, I might add. I think I've made everyone in the room a great deal of money through the years. Well, yeah, everybody but yourself. Stick to the script. <clears throat> An idea so extraordinary that not even my assistant has seen the slides I'm about to show you. The tuna salad super pipeline. A crackpot inventor. A Cracker Jack inventor first time. has come up with an idea to deliver fresh tuna salad straight to your sandwich via a spigot in your kitchen. No more trips to the grocery stores, no more cut hands, no more broken fingernails on those hard to open cans. No more mess. Our research, our, our research shows that within a year of launch, more than one million households in every major city in America will have access to the tuna salad super pipeline. And within 10 years, our worldwide market should reach 200 million households, uh, mostly in China, Eastern Europe, and North Africa. North Africa? Won't it be hard to keep the tuna fresh in the deserts of North Africa? That's a good question. Are you ready for a good answer? No. That's the magic of it. The lines are refrigerated from source to spigot. That sounds delicious. But what about chocolate milk? Well, fortunate you should ask. Wait, why wouldn't I ask? It's in the script. Right here, it says, Eric, quote, what about chocolate milk, end quote. You must have a newer version of the script. In mine, you say old time. If you two will stay in character, we can get the funding to have it delivered to every kitchen in America. All right, dear. What's that you say? Every kitchen in America? Yes, because once the infrastructure is built for the tuna salad super pipeline, then we can also have delicious Chocolate milk delivered. Chilled vodka. Cassandra, please stay in character. Please stick to the script. Don't you see what's writing on this? Everything. The house is triple mortgaged. We have $60,000 or $600,000 in credit card debt. We do? I forget which. 
Eric's back brace thing no is not insured. Old Craig is coming home with his babies and illegitimate wife. They're not married. Oh, and if those angel investors don't come through, we'll, we'll never get the funding. We'll drown in debt, and then I'll never get that house full. Oh! What's going on here? What's up with that, and, and why is he using a trash can as a podium? We're practicing. Your father has passed up in a presentation he's going to have later today. Okay, we'll keep it down. Stephanie's coming over later. That's nice, dear. Stephanie, what about Joni? Baby! Baby, baby it's me! me. I'm here to help! I passed my test! My test! My test! My test! My test! Honey, did Craig do this to you? To you? To you? To you? Son of a bitch! 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 Oh my god, you're bleeding! Sue? 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 It's okay, baby. Baby, 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 baby. Roman! Who's Roman? Who's Roman? Who's Roman? Come in. Hi. Hi. Thanks for coming by. I was about to hit the road when I got your phone call. Really? Where are you going? Uh, I'm heading north, moving a family to Alaska. Alaska? Is the sun shining? Yes. No, I mean, in Alaska, is, is the sun shining? It's a three hour difference. It's only 2 p.m. No, that's not what I'm trying to say. What I'm trying to say is, I, I think of you like a sister. Right. Well, yes, it being June, the sun is shining in Alaska. No. What I mean is, what I'm trying to say is, you and I, we're alike. We both sleep with women? No, no. What I really want to say is you're friendly. You're nice, and I like you. I thought you said I was like your sister. And this is like a Greek tragedy. Let me go with you to Alaska. I have almost six weeks before I have to be to work. I have basically the whole summer free. I could use the company. I get lonely. You said. I drive. And I'll sing. I'm going to write a song a day, like Woody Guthrie. Okay. No promises. Okay. If it doesn't work, just leave me on the side of the road. Okay. Just find a glacier and leave me be. I said okay. <sighs> let's get going before I change my mind. Okay, let's get going. <laughs> what about her? Is she all right? Are you all right? I called her sister to come pick her up. I can't worry about her. It was so hot, I froze to death. Susanna, don't you cry. <laughs> you know, for a songwriter, you are a terrible singer. I know, I know. Oh, Susanna, don't you cry for me, for I'm going to Alaska with a banjo on my knee. Put that stuff away. It isn't good for you. Dad, you're here. We're going fishing. Fishing? At this time of year? That's right. We're going fishing out at Lake Peste. But isn't that all the way out in California? That's why we need to get an early start. All uh, right. Uh, then we'll go down to the river. I know the perfect place. Oh, I'd like that. Yeah. Let me take this. It's Roland Pavlovich. What can I do for you? Roland, it's Michael. We have our angels. Well, I've always had an angel. In fact, two, maybe three. No, our angel investors. The tuna salad super pipeline? Yes. But that'll never work. It doesn't matter if it ever works. We issue an IPO, then secondary investors buy stock from us, and we walk away. It doesn't get built? That's up to the engineers and the board. I don't know about that. We walk away. Rich! I'm in. Great. I'm sending Jeeves to pick you up. Uh, not today. I have 
something planned that I can't move. Fine, tomorrow then. Uh, one, one question. If you see my runaway, tell her I'll be home. Yeah, this machine costs something like twenty thousand dollars. Not the coffee, the poetry. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. She didn't write in a nerd slam. Nerd? Sexy nerd. Do you have a girlfriend? Uh, k kinda. You want two more? Kinda. Stop. I'm ovulating. I know. I can read your lips. Now that she's got it right away, my heartstrings come undone. Let me that baby right away. Morning stars for sun. And if you see my runaway, just tell her she's my one. But I need my baby runaway, just tell her she's my one. College education. Who's Eric? <laughs> they all died. Craig, Roman, my baby. I had a hysteric, hysteric. No. It was a hysterical pregnancy. Real fucking funny. Sue is still around. We do sister things. I'm going to paint her picture, and she is going to teach me about the three basics of love. Food, shelter, and spending money. She says that most couples are lucky to be honest with each other every once in a while. Once a month. Like the new moon. I wish she had taught me that before Craig and Roman and my baby disappeared. But she didn't, so here we are. Lovely. There's really no one to blame. We are all responsible for our own actions. Mine cost me a lover I never had, a baby I never had, and a husband I never had. They say that love is an opiate. And laughter and aspirin for the masses. You just have to hope that when the initial high wears off, someone is still around to refill the prescription. That's a long fall. Roman! You came back! I did. I missed you. I know. I lost the baby. It was a hysterical pregnancy. I know, but enough of that. We have our own. In fact, I think you're pregnant now. You look pregnant. Do you? I am? That afternoon in St. Louis. Come on, Joni. Those fish aren't going to catch themselves. Maybe Sue can meet us there for lunch. Can Roman come too? Of course, and Donna. Of course? Well, who's Donna? But what if we don't catch anything? Joni, baby, nobody goes fishing for the fish. We go for the company. <laughs> Dad? Ah. Pregnant. It's wonderful, honey. A miracle! Donna. Oh. 
Your land is my land, my land is your land, from California to the New York. Can I tell you a secret? Sure. I'm not really a lesbian. I'm only in it for the back ribs. I'll go and kill Craig. <laughs> you make a reservation for dinner. That secondary investors buy stock from us. Craig, it's time you knew you're adopted. You think? Well, but I've loved you more than my own child all these years. I can't take this lying anymore. Dad, Mom, it's time you knew. This is not me. Why, Rockefeller? They're not really questions. I mean, in reality, my family is not mine, but in fact, they're like this group of giant lizard-like bipeds with, with like these long, these long split tongues. Come out after this, I buy you. Gee. I don't know. I hope they have at least two juice psychosis. <laughs> oh, then I buy you two juices. That'll work. Morning, sir. Your drive through Ketchup? It's in the fridge. Had it installed yesterday. And your suit is pressed into the water. Good story. Dude, that's so faux. Listen up, kid. You may learn something. You have an ass like this. <laughs> Maybe you should try to pull back then. I would have filed for divorce right there if that had been me. I'd have to send a ball bill. Nip, what the fuck is your name? Dr. Alphonsus? Okay, Robert Kidney? No. Are you sure? Well, that's my girl. Oh, keeps him on the table. Shh. Okay. And I've got the scars to prove it. Uh, ouch! Oh, you bitch! What good is a smartphone when you have a dumbass operator? I can't figure this thing out at all. They call this smart? What's smart is having a secretary to answer and return all your calls and your emails, especially from your wife. Until you start sleeping with her. This is a man. Yeah. I'm a woman. Yeah. I have needs. Oh, come on. Really? Yeah. Day 15. It's that time. Isn't that funny? I had an Aunt Brad who used to take me fishing out at Lake Puddingstone. Can I call you Brad? No. Do I look like a Brad? If you want, you can even come here and talk to me. Yeah. You know, just ask the nurse about it. You know where she's supposed to sign, yes, right? I do. Give me the Highlander. Thank you. You're welcome. Why are you always this way? I liked you when you first started. When you talked. Hey, lady. I'm trying to rest here. Work and hard to teach my love. 